Hey guys, so brand new update video for the SIG MCX Spear. Freshly SBR'd. Now we have the 13 inch 7.62 NATO barrel with the 11 inch uh, handguard. Dead air, SIG tapered uh, key micro flash hider in the front. So I'm sure this is gonna kick uh, just a little bit more than it did as a 16. Um, six, the 16 inch chopped pin and weld was okay, um, but it's probably not the best way to go if you're looking for this, like the authentic MCX uh, SIG XM7 experience. The SBR is definitely the way to go. Um, now they're coming out with the uh, 6.8 uh, barrels. That's pretty cool. And eventually, hopefully, they'll do uh, six five Creedmoor barrels. That's the goal. Um, hopefully, they make it in a thirteen inch barrel. But if not, you got something like this. Um, I'm sure I'm going to make a whole bunch of you mad because this is going to be another low round count video. But this is merely just to get the gun on paper, test function, see how well it works, and kind of go from there. So I will say though that with the thirteen inch barrel and the shorter handguard. The balance of this rifle is significantly better now than it did even with the, the pin and welded. Um, I don't know how, but like if you just shorten it by an inch, uh, it almost makes all the difference. Um, I don't think the barrel profile or anything's different, but uh, still pretty cool. So let's take a few shots. Only shooting at like 25 yards. I know it's not super long for a 308, but It'll at least get us on paper and then we can go do other things later. Oh yeah, way more punchy than uh, than before, but not not immanageable. get her sighted in and then we'll go from there all right first groups down range uh not the best group probably shooting on my part and how i'm kind of sitting but uh functions great locks back uh it's on the unsuppressed setting so nothing crazy we'll confirm at least our our short 25 meters zero here and then we'll throw the suppressor on and see how well she functions suppressed Very nice. Okay, so our first uh, six rounds down the barrel functions great. Uh, getting about 3.2 ish MOA. Uh, but uh, like I said, I don't have the best setup. So we threw the Huxworks Ventum on the end. And uh, let's do the last three rounds with a suppressor on and the unsuppressed gas setting mode because the suppressor is flow through. Uh, theoretically, it should not require a suppressed setting. So um, I guess we'll see what happens. Here we go. Very nice. Um, I saw that last round kind of go forward there. So I'm kind of wondering if uh, this isn't entirely flow through. Um, it's definitely just a smidge punchier, believe it or not, with the suppressor than without. So maybe um, this might benefit from putting it on the suppress setting. Uh, we'll review the video, see what's up. But for the most part, for the 13 inch, um, I'm definitely, this definitely is the better setup. Uh, the 16, the 16 inch 
compared to this. Um, one, once you put a suppressor on the 16 inch, it's just extremely long, especially if you have longer cans like this, like this Ventum. Um, but on the other hand, a lot of you, I'm sure, uh, are either gonna wanna keep the SLM or you're gonna wanna get away from the SLM. Um, it's either one of the two camps. I wanna keep the traditional, or not the traditional, the actual like XM7-ish kind of format with the SLM um, and reducing all that mass up here, pulling, even pulling a gas block back a lot, um, definitely helps kind of balance the gun out a lot more. Um, overall, uh, the other part too is uh, once you take off that extra amount of barrel length and that extra rail weight, um, it really starts to kind of reduce down the weight of the rifle a little bit more and moving from target to target you actually can kind of do that a little bit easier um, than before before yeah it's definitely in more a dmr role um, but in this kind of format it's definitely you i mean you could arguably make this um, into a role that you know you could use this as like a normal infantry rifle um, three and a half moa at least for the short range that i'm shooting at might not seem great in the grand scheme, uh, but in the context of an infantry rifle, it's definitely more than acceptable. Um, of course, that's with uh, Fiocchi 150 grain 308, so uh, definitely not precision loaded for uh, this gun and its isms. Um, so now, now that we've got her sighted in and all the other fun stuff, we'll start dialing in hand loads and some other fun stuff for this, so that way we can kind of squeeze out as much accuracy as we possibly can um, out of the MCX beer. So yeah, this is the way going forward. Uh, like I said, she's fully SBR, she's fully mine now. So there's no getting rid of this gun uh, and I wouldn't want to get rid of it anyways. It's fucking awesome. So yeah, awesome. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, oops, before we go too far. Uh, Vortex Razor 1-6 to six, Gen 2E on the top and a badge of ordnance. Uh, condition one mount 1.7 inch model um, and then I have the backup uh, side mounted Griffin armament sights uh, very simple nothing too crazy but uh, I thought about putting some some lasers and some stuff up here but I'm uh, I'm concerned I just might get a little too heavy um, haven't fully weighed it in this setup yet so I can't tell you how much it weighs um, but I can imagine, you know, it's, it's essentially eight and a half pounds worth of rifle before you start putting the optic. Um, and this whole setup is like another two pounds by itself. So this is probably without the suppressor, uh, a 10 to 11 pound rifle without ammo, without a magazine, any of that. But um, she shoots nicely and uh, yeah, really, really cool, cool weapon system. So keep shooting her, we'll keep dialing her in and we'll go from there. All right, like, comment, subscribe. See you guys.